I have just no idea. You have no idea. There. We, oh, we can... it looks familiar. Oh, oh, oh. The name of the author is... The way... Whoa! The picture of the author's thing I'm about. But it looked familiar for a second there, but then I realized that was not what I was looking for. It wasn't red. What? Can I read it yet? Read it now, God. Drip. Honk. Drip. Honk. Drip. Honk. Drip. Footsteps echo further and further off into the distance as he walks towards the fleeing motherfucker. Green and blue on his hands, purple on his face, and three jagged lines. The no longer stoned clown wore a blue cat hat and cracked shades, both of which had once belonged to those green and blue. But they were motherfucking dead now. Motherfucking yes, he was going to kill all those motherfuckers. All of them. He didn't feel the slightest bit guilty either, because it's just like it was what he was motherfucking hatched for. The footsteps finally disappeared, and the halls were silent aside from drip, honk, drip. Honk. He stops and grins at the sight of another one of one of those motherfuckers. They were lying in an awkward position, and he ripped the lance out of their chest, letting it clatter on the floor. Hey, hey, oh, that's heh, heh, hey, Tav, bro, what did I warn you about them stairs, huh? I warned you, didn't I? His friend remained silent, his robotic leg bent backwards. Such a shame there's no low blood to fix it now. Don't worry, Tavros, I'm not going to kill you. You should be grateful, you know? Motherfucking honored that I'm showing you mercy. Tavros knit ram remained still, completely silent. What did that motherfucker think he was doing, huh? He shouldn't be motherfucking ignoring him like that. Hey, Tavbro, get up already. We've got things to do before those motherfuckers leave. He poked his check. What? The other's face was wet, soaked in tears and blood. Tavros! Come on, man, get up. He was still motherfucking ignoring him. Hey, bro, didn't you motherfucking hear me? I said get the motherfucking up. How does that... What the hug? That motherfucker was still motherfucking ignoring him. Didn't you hear me, motherfucker? I told you to stand up. So motherfucking stand! In the he place grabs, where you live. He grabs the other's horns and forces them to sit up. So the two are at eye con at eye contact. The color brown on his hands mixing with the green and the blue. And the two stay like that for a few moments in silence. And then they kissed. Is that the end? Yeah. Hmm. That was very nice. Very, very beautiful. Man, elegant. I was trying to look for the Bill Cosby Show fan fiction, but I couldn't find it. 